Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mercedes McKay. Joining us now is meteorologist Scott Covert. Now Scott, we have Hurricane Marco and Tropical Storm Laura heading towards the U.S. coast. Could we see impact of these storms here in Arkansas? This is it, the final day before the first day of school tomorrow. Most teachers and students are getting ready to head back to the classroom, but some aren't. For the first time in almost 30 years, this woman won't be teaching students. Faye Hansen spent the last two years working with the Gifted and Talented program at Pulaski Heights Middle School. After attending training, going back into the building made her sick to her stomach and she knew the school year wouldn't be safe. Hansen decided to pack up her stuff and turn in her resignation letter just last Thursday. She believes our community transmission rate needs to be in line with the CDC recommendation of less than 5% before Arkansas puts their teachers, students, and community at risk. Coming up tonight at 10, our Mercedes McKay will have Faye Hansen's full story on how she made this hard decision. And as you're getting the kids ready for class in the morning, don't forget to turn to THV 11. Rob Evans, Amanda Yeager, and our entire Wake Up Central team are helping to make sure you're prepared for the new school year. And before we head back to class, some good news in our COVID-19 count. Our daily cases is at its lowest number since July 6. We have 375 new cases today. That makes Arkansas's total number of cases 56,574. Out of those, 5,600 are active. We have eight more people in the hospital tonight, making that 500 total patients. Unfortunately, we have 13 more deaths reported. 687 people in Arkansas have died from the virus. Seven people were shot and several others caught in the line of fire early this morning in Pine Bluff. Police tell us it happened at three this morning at the Sitco gas station on West 28th Street. A witness says there was a large crowd in the parking lot, then there was yelling, followed by gunshots. And Jackson County Sheriff's Office is identifying the man who is charged with the death of Sidney Sutherland. 28-year-old Quake Llewellyn is in the county jail for capital murder. He will have his first court appearance tomorrow. On Wednesday, Sutherland went out for a run near State Highway 18 and never came home. Her body was found two days later. We will keep you updated as more information becomes available. And we have new details in the Little Rock officer that was shot last night near Doyle Springs. Christopher Crowder was following up on a drive-by shooting at a home on Rosswood Drive when another drive-by shooting happened. He was shot twice in the leg. Crowder has been released from the hospital and is being taken care of by his family. LRPD is still investigating the drive-by shootings. And take a look at this. This is what driving through parts of California is like right now. This is dash cam video from earlier last week as nearly two dozen fires ravaged the state. The fires have killed six people and incinerated nearly a million acres. President Trump has declared this to be a major disaster and is providing federal funds for relief.